Today I'm going to tell you about a crisis emerging on the bridges between Kittery, Maine and Portsmouth, New Hampshire. And I'm going to provide a suggested solution for this crisis. Where we are today, the Memorial Bridge, pictured on the prior slide, has a remaining life of only two to five years. Currently, traffic is limited to 20-ton weight limits, and the bridge has only a 6% sufficiency rating. It is at risk of being closed as early as 2011, and most certainly will be closed by 2014. Last summer, a project had been identified to do major repairs and renovations to the Memorial Bridge. The project had gone through all of the permitting processes and had been sent out to vendors to get bids. The bids came back 15%, over, $15 million over budget, 35% over the budget. Maine and New Hampshire said stop and asked to perform a long-range study called the Maine-New Hampshire Connection Study. That particular study is designed to take 15 months and covers the two bridges plus the roads and other transport mechanisms in the area. The second bridge is the Sarah Mildred Long Bridge, known as the Middle Bridge. It has a 12% sufficiency rating and has a slightly uh, longer uh, viable lifetime uh, rating according to Maine and New Hampshire DOTs. It's not at risk of closure until 2014 and most certainly will be closed by 2017. It is a combination highway and rail bridge and provides a critical link to the Portsmouth Naval Shipyard. Without the Sarah Mildred Long Bridge and without that critical rail link, the mission of the Portsmouth Naval Shipyard is in question. The connection study, the long-range plan, which, uh, which uh, was described earlier, if that's all that is uh, undertaken, will put our community in peril. The timeline for the Memorial Bridge stays just the same. But if we apply the timeline of the connection study and its implications, we see where the crisis emerges. Even an optimistic schedule showing that the connection study completes in 2010, the review, approval, project selection, and bidding process will take a minimum of two years, going out to 2012, and Construction will take, again, another minimum of two years, taking us out into 2014, perhaps 2015. And that is an optimistic schedule. If anything goes wrong, the timeline will be extended. That means we're at risk of closure uh, in as early as 2011, and the bridge could be closed for as long as five years, waiting for the results of this connection study. There is a solution. The second round of stimulus funding, known as Tiger Grants, is a competitive round of funding being offered by the federal government. It is the second round of the stimulus bill. The timelines remain unchanged, but when we apply the timeline of the stimulus bill, we see a potentially very different uh, story unfolding. The stimulus funding criteria were announced in May of this year. We have until September 15th to submit a competitive bid against the other bids from all 50 states. The bids will be reviewed and approvals will be available as early as February of uh, 2010. That means we could begin construction immediately on the repair of the Memorial Bridge. Remember, all permitting is done. It's been shovel ready since 2008. So how do we stack up against these competitive criteria? Well, take a look at the criteria. They have to do with the long-term impact on the nation, a metropolitan area, or a region. Certainly we qualify there. Will it create jobs and stimulate the economy? Absolutely. 
Do we have a broad partnership within the community supporting it? You bet we do. And what's better, a joint submission by both New Hampshire and Maine would be that much more attractive at the federal level. And New Hampshire has already proposed such an, uh, an approach. We think we've got a strong case for stimulus funding. If you take a look at the criteria established by the federal government, as seen here, we think we stack up pretty well. We don't rate 100% on all categories, and we don't think any, any project will. But we think we rate very highly if we go ahead with a joint Maine and New Hampshire proposal. The bridge repair project could rate extremely highly in awarding the Tiger Stimulus Funding Grants. It's supported by the community and it's supported by our neighbors in New Hampshire. So let's turn the page. The decision we think is simple. We want Maine to support, to join with New Hampshire and to support stimulus funding for the rehabilitation of both, both bridges. This is a one-time opportunity. It's good for Kittery. It's good for Portsmouth. It's good for York County. It's good for the rest of Maine. And we think it's good for the whole nation.